Angry Testy Educational Alright, so I'm against Mage Bane mid. So he's oh got a god. passive. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. He's got a passive, I've got a passive. I'll buy you one. And I'm gonna bite him. I am going to bite the crap out of him. Immediately, that I'm is. trying to level up ability. That is how you play Predator mid, if you do ever get to play a mid. Um, if you're against something with no lane power, like Mage Bane. You literally just bite the crap out of them. You right, you right click them until they suffer and die and leave you the hell alone. Now he's gonna try and burn my mana a little bit. So I'm gonna actually just use all my mana. These stupid archers. So I'm just gonna use all my mana right away. As soon as I get level 3, I'm gonna get another thing of leap. And it'll be the only leap I get to cast on him. I probably could have used one on level 2 then. Alright. So he's burning 32 mana now. He wants to burn my mana. I'm willing to make this trade. Oh! Ooh, 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 the trade is bad! Team! Fuck. So, she stayed there for a really long time to do that. That is really unfortunate. So, in this particular instance, I don't, I don't have to get a bottle or anything like that. I normally do always get a bottle on mid. Even on Predator, it's not that bad just because you're still getting runes that are important. But yeah. Can I come mid or top? I'll put a word in the career for you, please. So yeah, I thought I was gonna have a super easy free farm lane where I was just going to um, destroy his his being, but apparently Rickwalker had other ideas. So, right now, because I have no mana, his mana burn isn't doing the extra damage to me. This is where Glaciosaur oh, is going to somewhat work against me. I can God see damn. that. So Glaciosaur is somewhat working against me here, unless I don't get hit for a while. Oh good, I get to do this and hopefully leap on him again. Okay, we can't kill bot, so I'm gonna go top and kill. We're stuck ghost marchers, you know, around a lot. This game, I almost might just level my passive only because I'm not expecting to get a whole lot. I don't need you here. We're just going bot rune. Missing glad. Or, or wait, wait, wait! Don't go in. Don't. Shit. I'm just gonna level my passive and make this a very farmy game. Keep going, keep going. They do have a mage bane, but I intend to bite him in the face anyway later. And of course. Okay, go, go. So yeah, as you can see, I'm leveling my passive a lot here. It's because I intend to be avoiding them, because the game's not going so good. Oftentimes when the game's not going so good, I start avoiding them, because, you know, we don't want to feed, so... Illusion room... So... This is going to be a slightly interesting game. As you can see, in a man fight right now, Mage Bane doesn't stand a chance. Anyway, so I build this game 
because we're against Mage Bane, we're probably going to want to get a Basher at some point. There are a bunch of other builds you can do against Mage Bane, but I don't know. I might. I, I sometimes mix it up and do some some funky stuff with Predator, because most of his damage is, you know, coming from his passive anyway. So. Sometimes I'll go crazy attack speed, sometimes I'll go sh shield breaker, and... Glad everyone's mad. Yeah. This is such a strange team, like the way they're moving around the map. Like it's not efficient, the, w the way they're doing it, but it's paying off because it, it, like, it is succeeding. And Can you start coming here? That was so dangerous. You should be careful, young man. Oh, you're fine, you're Maxis. But I am out of the mana. So just because I'm against Mage Bane, I should actually just buy it, build a uh <laughs> Gotta say I don't think that chase was wise. Not in the least. So because I am against Mage Bane, uh, I might buy a power supply. Normally you don't need one of these things on Predator. So I'm a little... I'm, a, I'm in a spot where I actually don't know what the best item build is for this particular game. Almost In almost every game I actually have a very clear view of what the best item build is for the game. Um, in this one, I'm a little torn whether I should go something like AC Shield Breaker uh, with a power supply. AC being a demonic breastplate. So I could go the Shield Breaker route. I think that's actually pretty decent for this game. They have some strength heroes that aren't gonna be overloaded with armor. No pebbles might get an AC. But. There is a lot of chase value in something like Dawnbringer. Um, so if you go Shieldbreaker, you hit really, really hard, but sometimes you just can't finish them all off, and sometimes they just buy Void Talismans and you don't finish anybody off. So it's a little up in the air here, because I don't know what they're going to build or how they're going to build. Um, so almost always I know, but th in this case, things are not nearly as clear as they, they usually are. No. It's also, like, Shieldbreaker is really good because Gladiator... Yeah, I get those, this guy couldn't fucking press R and click Gladiator on. and Flux have high HP, but they also, they also almost never build armor. Because Gladiator is all true damage, he doesn't care about armor and whatnot. I'm coming for this guy. This doesn't help with the wards, I've been dying all game. Do you have your E? Or Q? R? That's what I meant. So, so far, the extra damage has helped a little bit from our, our Mithril Hammer, our War Hammer. How dare you nuke that wave? How dare you? Courier is always in use. Such a pain. Such a pain. Right here. I'm gonna keep farming here and. Actually, I shouldn't keep farming here. Not just because they're coming to kill me. Or Rift, uh, Emerald Warden. But because Mage Bane can cast his thing, I think, to mini stun. Do, uh, do we have to give this up? Um, I don't think we do. But we're not in position now. And we don't have a glyph. You can still run in there. You can still run in there, I think. Glad doesn't have mana. And, uh, yeah, I can get over there. Okay, I'm getting pulled up. Like, 
uphold. I just couldn't get in. Everyone I wanted to go in, I lost vision on and whatnot when I pressed my Q. So yeah, we don't have to give up anything. Yeah, always make sure you have enough mana for the next fights, because I don't think we have to give up towers, even though they're head-on kills. As long as me and Maraxxus lead in, Maraxxus should go in, I should follow up right behind and whatnot. Um... Um... What do you mean, um? What is this, um? What is this, um? I was just farming top and Emerald Warden decided to do the same thing. Emerald Warden scales better. Brown, come bot. Yeah, everyone has to be ready to come bot anyway. Like you're. I have a TP in my hand. Um. Fucking dick. <laughs> what? was a little, a little ugly, but good worked job. Out. I was like, oh no, I'm dead. Oh, yay! <laughs> oh wow! You're giving this bird of yours legendary status. Sure. What should I get? No stones, or just skip it? Either Dawnbringer or Nullstone, or Manta, or something like that. I still like Nullstone. Yeah, I'm gonna get a Nullstone. It's like, made for Emerald Wood. Alright, so now... Now we do a whole lot of damage. And let's see. Uh, and see if I can throw the game right now. Three bot. No electrician. Unfortunately, that still goes through. Hopefully, he doesn't have his W. Flux, you're such a good man. <laughs> yeah, I knew that jump was bad, but. The upside of the jump, now they can't push. The bad side of the jump, now they can't push, so we can't kill them again. So. Because they're not gonna go in if one of the dudes is like 12 HP. So now what we're really lacking here is. One of the one of the really big advantages, actually, I, I, I haven't talked about this, is uh, of shield breaker over the more expensive items like Dawnbringer and whatever. Is that shield shield breaker and uh, bulwark costs as much as a Dawnbringer, but you hit a lot harder. <laughs> so you Never hit mind. that you hit that get, that time in the game where you you really start taking off their HP really fast and they don't want to be anywhere near you. But as I said, uh, you do lose, you do lose a lot of chase potential, so there's that. That's, that's something you have to factor into your builds, um, is cost effectiveness, like, and when you want to fight. So, 
if you just want to avoid them all game and go for late game, because that's what you feel you need to do, that's actually fine. Uh, sometimes you, sometimes they've gained too much of a lead, you can't take fights except for anywhere in your base. And that's where you're like, no team, don't try and defend, you're gonna die, and then they're all dead. So. And then there's that one idiot on the team that's like, we would've won if you were here, and you're like, they're all full HP still after massacring you. <laughs> so, you know, it, it all depends. He could've soloed Kong there? Alright, that guy... That guy needs to be slapped and upside the head. Uh, Predator is one of the worst carries for doing Kongor. <laughs> Straight up, he's just he's just a terrible, terrible carry for doing Kongor because his passive doesn't work on Kongor. So if I go fight hey, Kongor, Jesse, when can I get some pro studio monitors? If I if I go fight Kongor right now, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my ass beaten. I'm not even gonna come close to killing him, and he's just gonna smash me. So. If I go um, Whispering Helm, I can Whispering Helm with something else, with some other items, yeah, I could fight him. Say if I have a Whispering Helm, uh, a Wing Bow, and something else, yeah, I, I could fight Kongor. But I don't have those items, so... You can't solo Kong with Predator. Trust me, if I could, I would. I'm going to war. Especially since Minus Armor doesn't work on him. I am going to jump on his head. So right now I still attack really, really slow. I'm going to work my... Work my hardest to remedy this problem. I should actually just drop this. I'll drop this later. But see, that that gladiator is completely just free food for us, and we have ignored that. So we're gonna buy some dust. LOL, noob, didn't buy dust. Yeah, well, we have dust now, so... Oh, she's got a staff! Oh, he one-shotted me. Unfortunately, our AC didn't come in in time, so... That really sucks for us. If I had gotten my Daemonic Breastplate, that would have been a way better fight, because I would attack a lot faster. I'd attack a lot faster, they'd have minus one more armor, steal more HP per attack, things would be a lot better. Can't believe you sold your mana battery. Yeah, I know. So... One of your structures is under attack. What I'm about to do now... It's going to be somewhat interesting, because he's going to get a basher. So I get to have bash wars with Mage Bane later in the game. i got a 4 level advantage right now, but Mage Bane can close the gap since he's got a battle fury and can blink everywhere on the map. I still think I'm going to hit 25 way before he does, but you know. At this point, if he wants to farm faster, he can. So, our next item here, we haven't decided whether we're going to go Basher first. I think I should go Basher first for this game, just so that I can lock someone down and beat them to death much easier. But I could just as easily go for True Strike, which is a Savage Maze. Stop it. Can you speed me? Go, go. Press R on me. Do it. Do it. There, thanks. Uh, we're not gonna get there in time. Never mind. 
So just someone stack the ancients again. Because they might come down. Yeah, it looks like they were coming to react. Oh god. I don't care if I take the little combo, he's level 10. What? I can't wait any longer. Speeding up again. So Riftwalker's not stupid, she's clearly gonna back up. Glacius going for a push book. It's pretty much always a good item, so can't go wrong with it on the support. One person's still dead, plus we, I think, I personally think we're stronger than them right now, so we can take towers at will. Oh, that old. So, Flux saved your life. What a bitch. I'm gonna take that carrier. I really want my bash here. I'm coming as fast as I can. Yo, you're alone, you're alone. I <laughs> really yeah. thought that we were in. I already went in on them earlier, and then they all grouped up. We I mean, you can see all of them right now. So he's running into me. And the basher worked! Second hit bash. I either thought about it and then decided against it. Hopefully it's not because they showed up and wasted my fucking gank. Alright, so Rift Walker's getting a sheep stick. The second fashion, so I get to really grow accustomed to them. Why is dead, man? Oh, the big plays. Oh, the big plays. Haste. Oh, he's running towards river. Dead, man. <laughs> ah. Alright. Go on. I'm scared. I can't wait any longer. 
Testy, can you get a heart next for me? No. Yeah, man, I'll be like for me. Nice. I'm getting a heart. I'm gonna get a heart. I want a heart. Yours is so depressing. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even need us. Need a new one. Alright. So I was gonna go Savage Maze first, but first, I'm gonna build a butterfly. Wing bow, whatever. Uh, we're getting bashed, Riftwalker's ulting. We knew she was gonna ult, so we ran away and left the place. Yes. Oh! We knew what was going on there, so we're not sticking around. Oh, uh, I want to fight them before Rift gets her sheep stick. Whatever. Okay. Never mind. I'll just. Oh, I have to fight them now, but I'm in a gladiator alt, so this is bad. Stop them all! Give me your HP and your HP and your HP. <laughs> oh, my HP. This is gonna really fuck up our attack speed. We have a ring bow, but still. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Yeah. For me, I want to do something. Keep pushing, please. There's only one hero. There's Don't be afraid. One. Did they change report Walker? They gave her a staff yeah, master, where she can bring people in. Let's stay around, you guys. Fuck you, Pebbles! Thank you. 